Ladies, gentlemen, alts and expired titles, welcome to the Dry Egg Tavern, the premier music and entertainment establishment in our proud Murky Mile Merchant District. Do we have a show plan for you? We have some of the city's finest artists lined up tonight, along with special guests visiting all the way from Shimmy to exhibit some traditional Kubota folk music. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Voltarine Castra couldn't be with us this evening, as she had another engagement in Little Loiren. But, 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 we promise, we promise that the powerful and emotional lyrics of Sardar Medu's own Erid Rada will, will, did someone seriously just hiss? What even is that? <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Celia Joyce is here. Miss Joyce. Celia is performing. <laughs> yes, yes. <clears throat> Miss Joyce. Well <laughs> Will be headlining tonight's entertainment. Supported by Erid Rada. <laughs> yes. And the traditional music of the Kubotas of Shin, performed by the visiting Dell Dancers. <sighs> so please, everyone, 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 <clears throat> everyone. <clears throat> Thank you. If you check under your seats, you will find a token for two free drinks to be reclaimed at the bar. These are gifts, courtesy of tonight's sponsors, the Public Displays Guild. Guildmaster Aronson has asked me to pass on a personal message to you all, and it reads... It reads, <clears throat> enjoy the free drinks on me and enjoy the festivities in the lead up to the big race. To be read as a crescendo and pause for applause. Thank you. <clears throat> so, uh, whilst the acts get ready to set up, please go and collect your free drinks. I can't believe Volta's a no-show. You think she should at least show up? She doesn't give a shit about us. Er, uh, Mr. Rada, can I grab that? I put my heart and soul into our relationship. I put my heart on the line for her and all she ever does is, is hurt me. If I could just get past, I still need to, uh... I mean, the pain fuels my heart. You know, it, it's not all bad, but I just feel like I deserve better, you know? And she couldn't even cancel her own show to come and watch me play. Uh, are you for real, mate? I swear, I've been in her shadow for too long and putting up with too much of her crap. As of tonight, I'm breaking free. I'm going to sing to the world that Fault and I are through. Erid, so good to see you. Mwah, mwah. Have you seen Lanlin? I'm absolutely dying to talk to him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Have I interrupted something? Uh, no, no, Miss Joyce. I I'm just trying to collect the glasses from the shelf behind Mr. Rada. And he was just telling me that he's going to break up with Voltarine Castra because she wouldn't leave her headline slot at the flagon to come and watch him support you for free. Erid, why don't you let Petrak finish up his work before he gets into trouble? Come sit over here with me and talk. Cheers, Miss Joyce. He needs some sense knocking into him. Don't be gentle. Don't be cruel. Can you see he's heartbroken? I had no idea you and Vault were even a thing. And to think we're all so close. When did all of this happen? 
Don't, don't you remember the Eagle Rango gig we, we all went to watch a while back? Oh my god. That was in like Yoss, wasn't it? Yoss? Yeah, the year of stable security when all the soldiers arrived. Me and the girls all say it like that now. It's so much easier. So, you guys hooked up at the end of Yoss and have been like a thing the whole way through Yard until now? Uh, yeah, you're right. From. From yoss to yoffs. You're right, actually, that, that is much easier to say. But don't you think it will confuse people? Don't try to avoid the subject, Herod. I can't believe you guys have been a thing for so long. Oh, yeah. It was that beautiful night when we gave our hearts to each other. But didn't she hook up with Eagle that night? And I thought she was dating a couple of girls from LL after that. LL? Little Lyran. Right. Well, obviously, we're not exclusive. It's not like I'm her husband. So you guys are fears then? I mean, our, our feelings go, they go so much deeper than a contract, obviously. The truest loves are the unspoken ones. She struck out with Eagle. I... I went to fetch her a bowl of breskin to help her sober up. We were alone, and, and you know, next next thing I knew, she she was all over me. That sounds a little creepy, Eric. No, no, I am a gentleman. You know, I, I wanted to make sure she was a hundred percent into it, so I let her pitch. Let her pitch. Yeah, I was the catcher. So, no funny business that way. Right. Well, I'm so sorry you two didn't work out. If you ever need to, uh, if you ever need a shoulder to, I'm here for you, buddy. (laughs) So, as is tradition... We should uh, 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 open tonight's performance with a rendition of our national anthem, the Yemedouin Hymn. Please stand for the national anthem. to see that at least some of us remembered the words and uh <clears throat> yes perhaps in the future you won't ask the master of ceremonies to sing this <clears throat> right well on with the evening all right mate you haven't seen celia joyce anywhere have you I'm dying to meet her she invited us and i can't find her anywhere you just missed her she just left to find Lanlin. Lanlin? Yeah, that's me. Lanlin and the Dancing Dells. Oh, you must be the Kabuta band from the camps. Camps? Yeah. 
refugees or displaced people or whatever. Not us, friend. We're from Shing. Shimmy's doing fine and travelling Shimong are a novelty in most places. Well, the camps are full of them, apparently. Built a big bunker or something. Never leave the fortress? Drink a ton of boo, no? No idea. I like to... I like to focus on my art, and not, not worldly concerns. Okay, well they don't represent us. Just in case you were wondering, we're not all like... I wasn't. Right, well, I guess I should go and look for Celia. She'll be back in a minute. Best just stay here in green room. Which is? This one, obviously. But this room's purple. It's the green room. Uh, and that overhyped pop star will be back any minute. <laughs> oh no, not a fan. She can hold a tune, but if it takes your family's fortune, classical training to get you up to standard, it's, it's probably not worth the effort. She doesn't have the art in, in the soul and she's too mercenary. The most successful musician in a meadow, I'd heard. If you count success as how much you get paid, sure. Or popularity, or number of venues which want you to play there. You think there's a more authentic way to measure success? Of course. By keeping true to your rawest emotions and communicating them unfiltered to others. How do you know she isn't doing that? Because people like it. Now, if you excuse me, I, I have to, I have to set up. This, this song is, is for all, all those out there who've, who've, who've ever suffered the abuse of a neglectful partner. This is my goodbye, Vault. Doing traditional folk music, right? Not now. 
Everyone's heard folk music. We like to pretend it's all different, but it's the same wherever you go. The instruments might differ a bit from place to place, but it's the same premise. Another wonderful legacy of the Empire. No offence. I'm taken. So, what do you want to do? I can go first if you need time to prepare. We're gonna go big. We've been experimenting with some stuff for years. If we might get booed either way, we should blow some socks off whilst doing it. No one will get hurt, will they? All face melting will be metaphorical, I swear. So, a little change of plan. Our guest performers are going to exhibit some more avant-garde work from their homeland. So, I have the pleasure of playing for you first, as they make some amendments to their costume and instruments. This one is a new song, called The Era of Silence. It speaks of the trauma of abandonment and our longing for the divine return. I hope you enjoy it, and please remember to show your support for the support acts. They rely on your patronage to keep their work going. Ancient pantheon, gods above us, answer us when we call. Send relief, have mercy upon us, hear this our cry for all. How much more must we endure? Silence ringing in the air Surely you see as your people fall Hear this our cry for all In our hearts we know there's a table Where the faithful ones will die I know you hear me Know that you see me, I offer this heart of mine. Tremble and be still, come search my heart. Peacefully we hope until the day of your return. to be something worthwhile in here. What are you doing? Hey? Why do you have Celia's bag? What? This? I'm just making sure it's safe. Got all sorts in the egg. What is that awful sound? That's the caboodle lot. They are building new instruments, apparently. Foreigners. Why, why have they all got to be so weird? Yeah, <laughs> uh, nice just to have some folks around who are shorter than me, if I'm honest. Uh, well, now that I've made sure the belongings are all safe, I guess I'll make myself scarce. Thank you, uh... Uh, put track Winesworth at your service. 
Well, no, I'll tell you I'm running off with your bedroll, soggy handkerchief and half a mouldy butty, eh? Yeah. Wait, how did... Irresistible power of the troll splitters! Uh huh. This is not a warning. It's already too late! Hello there, my name is Stuart and I played the part of Lanlan on this week's episode of Tales of Sardari Meadow, The Bards. If you enjoyed the music of Lanlan and the Troll Splitters, you might be interested in my musical project This Is Bardcore. I reimagine modern music in the style of a tavern bard, adding fantasy and RPG elements. This, along with original TTRPG instrumental music, can be found on my YouTube page, Dweezel Van Zafir. That's a bit of a mouthful though, so it's probably easy to find me on Twitter at This Is Bardcore. You can also find me playing the part of Dweezel Van Sphere the Bard in the weekly actual play D&D 5e podcast, Dice and Desire. You can find us on Twitter, at Dice and Desire.